Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Worlds Collide Fangry. And this decal set includes five decal sheets on a combination of foil and vinyl backing. And this one right here is really cool because this is raised ink. So these are the wing decals, and you got some purple veiny wings that actually have texture to them. That's really, really cool. And I got to give Toy Hacks a big shout out because they surprised me with a prototype of their Toy Hacks Armory Fangry guns. So we'll take a look at that later on. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Fangry both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Worlds Collide Fangry is a great homage to the original Generation 1 toy, especially with that garish late 80s color scheme of pink, black, and green. Now, taking a closer look at the figure, he's got lots of great molded details all over, but really not a lot of paint applications. He does have a green face, which is also a throwback to the G1 toy. The speed, strength, and intelligent readout right there, which is also a throwback to the G1 toy, because with that toy, you'd plug the head in and you would get a little tumbler that would show you the level of the speed, strength, and intelligence. He's also got a Decepticon insignia right there on his stomach, some black details right there on the waist plate, some nice metallic blue for the knees, and he's got some red stripes on the shoulders. And that is it for paint applications for robot mode. Now, back of the figure, we do have the wolf head with some paint applications, but we'll take a look at that after a while. So there you go, guys. Fangry in robot mode before and after. Fangry's robot mode gets quite a few new decals thanks to Toy Hacks. And the first decal I'm going to show off is the new decal here for the visor. Now you do get a couple different options. You have the green that I have, and you also have red and silver. I went with green because, as I said earlier, the original Fangry had green visor. Granted, he had an entirely green face, but I do like the way Toy Hacks look because it has that nice metallic look so it doesn't blend in with the rest of the face. He also gets a new decal right there on the chest that covers up the speed, strength, and intelligent decals from earlier. That is an option. You can put those on with a more metallic look. But I decided to do this since, you know, he doesn't have that gimmick anyway, and he's more of a modern Fangry. There are purple accents there on the chest, down here on the waist, and purple accents for the forearms. There's also purple decals that go on the outside of the fist that help benefit his creature mode. On the side of the arms, he gets new red metallic decals right there, circuitry decals right there on the outside of the bicep, and you can see the texture details there on the wings. Moving on down to the legs, he gets new decals right there on the shins. You do get a couple of options for that too. These 3D holographic details. And I need to make a correction. I mentioned in the intro that you got five decal sheets with this set. Toy Hacks sent me two of these, so you actually get four. Of course, it's right there, four of four. So you had those, but I went with this option right here with the vent look. You also get black highlights there on the tail halves and a black details right there on top of the feet. 
now let's take a look at the Toy Hacks Armory gun that they sent me. And I love this. I love Toy Hacks Armory weapons. They're so nice and smooth. And they look very, very much like the Generation 1 counterpart. So let's go ahead and put this weapon in Fangry's fist and see what he looks like. Nice, tight fit. I dig it. That's awesome. Fangry was needing a blaster. And this, this looks great. Toy Hacks, you outdid yourself. So there you go, guys. Fangry in robot mode after. In creature mode, straight out of the packaging, Fangry pretty much has all the same details he had in robot mode. But we'll get to him in a second. Let's go ahead and take a look at his Titan Master or Headmaster Briscoe. Briscoe, the only paint applications he has is the head sculpt. He's got some purple there for the forehead and a silver mouth plate. The rest of him is all just molded plastic with Fangry's face just hanging off his back. Now, taking a closer look at Fangry's creature mode, nice paint applications on the wolf head. He's got yellow eyes and white teeth. Uh, let's see, any other differences would be, let's see, there's some pink right there on the hips. I do like the fact that he has molded in fur on the beast legs, the beast hands, and the wolf head. The later headmasters had a neat blend. Oh, it wasn't just the headmasters. You had the uh, monster bots, too, had this unique blend of organic and robotic together that was never really explained in the fiction. But I like this guy. He is, he looks so much better than the original Generation 1 toy in wolf mode. Nice details here on the wings. You can see the wings a lot better now. But that is pretty much it. So there we have Fangry and Briscoe before and after. Fangry's creature mode is made even more monstrous now thanks to Toy Hacks. But first, let's take a look at Briscoe here. Briscoe gets new decals there on the chest and shoulders. But be warned, on the sticker map, you're only going to see the chest decals. These on the shoulders are not listed at all or shown. It took me forever to figure out where those went. So the other number 18 decals right there on the shoulders. Now, taking a closer look at Fangry. I love how this guy looks now. The first decals you're probably noticing are the wing decals. You got those nice textured wings that look veiny and just really, really gnarly. Just adds to the look of this monster. He also gets a new decal right there inside the mouth. Looks like a blast port, so he's breathing fire or shooting lasers or something. That just really it adds to the look. I like the yellow with the blast port along with the yellow of the eyes. On the shoulders, we got those red decals once again. And down here, you see the purple decals that were on the outside of Fangry's fists in robot mode. Now it blends in just a little bit better. You got the chest decals once again from robot mode. Let's see, here on the side, you get new pink decals with circuitry designs. And uh, you get these vent decals there. On the back of the figure, on the tail, you saw these decals earlier in robot mode, and you got the tail decals right there together. So all in all, I really dig how he looks now. So there you go, guys. There is Fangry in creature mode and Briscoe after. I got to give mad props to ToyHacks.com for what they did for Fangry here. This figure is why I bought the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Worlds Collide set. But once you got Fangry out of the packaging, he was kind of a disappointment. The figure looked all right, but he was ungodly floppy. I mean, the knees were terrible. I actually put in the work and got the knees tightened up. Now he's got the Toy Hex decals on him. He's got a weapon, and I think he's great. So bravo, Toy Hacks. This is one figure you definitely helped out. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos.
And if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I got to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's your support that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hooah! Mm-hmm.